it's not something that's going to be changed in five years or ten years or fifty years. It's a, it's a long generation issue that goes back to the founding of our country. As a Warren Wilson College volunteer, you may work in the Asheville City School System or the Buncombe County School System, which are two separate systems that operate out of this region of North Carolina. Warren Wilson is located in the Owen District of the Buncombe County School System, which includes Owen Middle School and Owen High School. Not included in these school systems are charter schools such as Art Space and Evergreen and private schools. As a volunteer going into either one of these systems, it's important to understand the rich cultural history surrounding these schools and the changes that came about during the time of desegregation. People have to understand that we don't respect the culture and the history of the community. We can't fight it. Looking at this history involves feeling uncomfortable and acknowledging personal biases that influence our volunteer work at local schools. To me, for me to become a better educator, a better social worker, I have to admit my bias and I have to admit my frustration. Desegregation was part of the very slow process our nation took to free African Americans from slavery and provide them with equality in all aspects of life. This began when Abraham Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation in 1863. Though this was an important first step, slavery did not become unconstitutional until the 13th, 14th, and 15th Amendments were signed between 1865 and 1869. By this time, African Americans had separate but lower quality public facilities. It wasn't until 1896 that the ruling Plessy v. Ferguson stated that all public facilities needed to be separate but equal. The public school system was one example of how unrealistic the idea separate but equal was. Black and Native American students during the 1900s received old, outdated textbooks previously used by white students and black and Native American teachers were routinely given lower salaries. From 1890 to 1935, a major transformation occurred in American public schools. High school was becoming increasingly more important in society. However, African American students were being excluded from these opportunities. The desire for equal education opportunities led to the public outcry and resistance against the concept of separate but equal schools. In 1954, the United States Supreme Court ruled that segregation of schools was unconstitutional in the case Brown v. Board of Education. The ruling stated that integration of schools must happen with all deliberate speed. State and local governments, particularly in the South, used this phrase to explain their slow momentum towards integration. Integration in North Carolina started slowly in 1963 when African American families with children in grades 1st through 3rd were given the option of enrolling to integrated schools, followed a year later by grades 4 through 6. This optional system was known as freedom of choice and implemented to satisfy the Brown v. Board ruling. That same year, 22 black students applied to Buncombe County Schools and only 12 were accepted. Some of the earliest efforts to bring African Americans the same quality of education as whites can be traced to the work of ASCORE, the Asheville Student Committee on Racial Equality, which was a student-led organization. The founding members were 1960 graduates of Stevens Lee High School, an all-African American high school that served students from numerous counties. They did extensive research on the difference in quality of books, equipment, and facilities between Stevens Lee and the all-white Lee Edwards High School in Asheville and presented their information to the Asheville School Board. The school board decided to begin construction on the South French Broad High School, which was built to replace Stevens Lee after the all-white school board voted in favor to shut it down. South French Broad High School opened its doors in 1965, and while many celebrated it as an important move in integration, the destruction of Stevens Lee was a devastating and terrible loss for the African American community. Just about every Stevens Lee person that graduated went on to get a master's. You know, this is in the 50s, 40s, 50s, and 60s. Following the most heated periods of desegregation in the 60s and 70s, Efforts to ensure racial diversity in schools have continued through the present day. After a 1988 objection regarding the status of Randolph and Jones Elementary Schools in Asheville, one of which was almost all black, 
and the other almost all white, the Asheville City School Board decided to merge the two schools. They made one of them a kindergarten through third grade school and the other a fourth through fifth grade school. They also created a magnet system for all the elementary schools in Asheville, which established themed schools that were intended to encourage more integration. The future brings an uncertain light for students navigating the Asheville and Buncombe County systems. Is there a law? Yeah, there's a law. We still have any complied with our federal desegregation law in the city of Asheville. Our schools are still decisively, you know, off kilter. Um, we have one of the largest achievement gaps there is. Social networks and the cultures of race, class, and religion continue to se segregate the classroom and the broader community. Another one is that you know, it's not just the student members, but one of the biggest problems is that 85% of our teachers are white in the classroom and white myself. And that it's going to be really, it's, it's imperative that the students have people who look like them in the classroom. It doesn't mean any sense of anything great that they can do. A 2012 study conducted by researchers at the Stanford University School of Education found that over 200 school districts, nearly half of those that were under court order to desegregate as of 1990, have been released from court oversight during the last two decades. These schools, 85% of which are located in the South, are seeing a new process of desegregation. As a volunteer, it's important to develop a vision of what a fair and just education system would look like. We invite you to become an astute observer and follow your threads of curiosity about the history and culture surrounding the school you are working in. And if we can't trust each other enough in the society to get better, we don't. And how do we address anything when we don't talk about it? Because you know, the only choice nowadays is to grow together.